Welcome back to uh, another another hackathon um, workshop. Hey, good to see you all. Um, today, um, well, I'm going to invite today's speaker up to the stage. We've got Hyung, um, who will be speaking about future of vivacity. Um, so hopefully you guys know what that means. Uh, Hyung is from Bee Harvest, uh, and I believe now, yes, uh, we can see you now. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> GM, GM, everyone. Um, and I forgot to ask you this earlier, Hyung. Where are you calling in from? Whereabouts are you based? Uh, I am in Seoul, uh, Korea. So all of our team is in Seoul. Oh, amazing. It's quite late for you then, um, right? It's uh, midnight, but it's really uh, normal for me. <laughs> so I used to have this kind of like life uh, with a lot of like calls in this kind of time. Mm, okay. Well, thank you so much for being here at midnight and speaking with everyone. Um, and yeah, um, we're, we're really honored to have you here. Uh, and um, we can't wait for you to get started. Uh, if you're ready, feel free to share your screen. Um, and yeah, everyone in the audience, please get ready um, and <laughs> warmly welcome you. Sure, uh, let me get started. So let me share my screen. Yeah, so I'm Hyung, uh, the founder of Be Harvest. Uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, our team first. Uh, so we are founded in 2018, and we are accumulating uh, the technology about uh, Cosmos Stack, Ethermint, and also uh, a lot of different kinds of DeFi. Uh, so we have uh, uh, several members who are uh, coming from ThreadFi. Uh, so uh, we have capability to uh, understand and develop uh, different kinds of DeFi application. Uh, in a very secure way because we are really capable of like financial engineering and risk management. So we are quite famous uh, at this uh, very uh, building very secure DeFi. Uh, but also uh, we are accumulating the technology of Cosmos Stack for about more than five years. So we are one of the uh, like biggest OG in Cosmos, uh, having uh, capability to build uh, and improve the technology on Cosmos. So that fits really well with uh, Canto. So like about like two years ago, uh, we decided to like put a uh, serious uh, investment and uh, effort uh, on uh, contributing Canto uh, because we believed in this project uh, with um, the vision of having independent uh, financial uh, ecosystem uh, on blockchain with L1, with sovereignty, and independent, independence in the governance. Uh, so, and very like uh, uh, organic uh, community coming from this uh, Canto ecosystem. So I loved everything about Canto and its team and its community. And we are like fully committed to uh, move on uh, together with uh, Canto uh, community and its members uh, to uh, grow this uh, ecosystem further. So uh, we are really happy to be invited uh, for to introduce uh, ourselves and also a uh, little bit more about information about Vivacity, uh, what what it was coming from, and what we are where we are heading to. Uh, so happy to have this opportunity to share this to all of you guys. So uh, Vivacity Finance. Uh, is uh, currently an RWA protocol on uh, Vivacity. Uh, so we have like a uh, uh, um, capability to invest uh, RWA assets and also lending and borrowing note uh, the, the stable coin of uh, Canto by collateralizing RWA. Uh, but also like we are uh, uh, preparing to introduce different kinds of RWA assets including like private credit, which is really interesting area of focus from ourselves. Uh, so uh, let me introduce more about private credit. So um, mostly uh, uh, products, uh, financial products with like interest bearing 
uh, those are like provided by traditional finance, like uh, especially from bank. But private credit is not from bank. It is mostly from like lending uh, money to like commercial, especially like small businesses and startups and such such things. So uh, this is really in a big trend right now with like more than two billion dollars of market uh, with really good uh, risk and return profile. So it. Uh, like Web3 people uh, also deserve to enjoy this uh, on Web3. And uh, this is like one of the priority we are uh, thinking to uh, provide this opportunity uh, to have this like private credit in on Canto. So RWA was kind of our starting point for Vivacity, uh, providing this uh, to uh, have like lots of like um, advantage for Canto community. Uh, also, uh, we have like lending pool incentives for lending uh, note on Vivacity. So that'll be like Canto rewards, but also we are providing Vivacity point rewards, which will uh, ultimately become uh, eligible to uh, claim airdrop for um, Vivacity token, which will be launched uh, in the future. So I want to emphasize some uh, uh, important thing about why RWA is really matter in Canto. Uh, this is because of uh, becoming an independent ecosystem for Canto. Right now, uh, there are lots of assets from Ethereum, including USDC and USDT. Uh, if you want to like um, mint note to uh, participate in the Canto ecosystem, uh, you need to like uh, swap from USDC to note or like having liquidity for uh, USDC or USDT uh, versus uh, note. But if we have various kinds of like RWA on uh, Canto, then this kind of like re reliance is not necessary. Like uh, operators such as like Circle or Tether, uh, this is another like risk uh, factor for you guys. And uh, uh, we want to become uh, uh, in independent. Uh, uh, this is the vision of Canto, and we want to like slowly remove this reliance uh, circle or tether. And RWA allow us to have this like uh, collateral with RWA, uh, so that we don't need to rely on this kind of other uh, operators. So uh, we believe that this like RWA is a very obvious uh, approach for every like ecosystem in Web three. And I think like Kanto is one of the blockchain who are really leading this uh, dif um, differentiation uh, from other uh, blockchain ecosystems. Uh, so uh, today I want to introduce more about uh, the future of Vivacity. So we are going to have uh, three different upgrades, including uh, generalized lending, Vivacity point system, and then DeFi collateralized lending. Uh, after that, I want to talk a little bit about Vivacity Token Launch, uh, who uh, a lot of people uh, participating in Vivacity is uh, uh, curious about. And also uh, beyond that, uh, what is our vision uh, from Vivacity to become in, in Canto? So first of all, uh, our first uh, upgrade, which is like uh, around the corner, uh, definitely will come probably like next week or so. Uh, this is a uh, generalized lending. So we were uh, RWA protocol, but uh, not anymore. Uh, we are going to expand our features to uh, collateralize different kind of assets for borrowing uh, notes. So that will include Kanto, Atom, and Ethereum, but more collateral assets to come. Uh, so. Uh, by this way, we are going to provide this like more generalized lending uh, feature uh, so that anyone can come into uh, Vivacity, uh, deposit like uh, Canto, Atom, or Ethereum uh, to borrow notes and you can participate in different kinds of like activity on Canto utilizing your uh, borrowed notes. Also, we are uh, preparing new UX design. Uh, so this is for uh, generalized lending borrowing uh, functionality, but also we are going to uh, add uh, Vivacity point leaderboards and we are going to uh, do some interesting um, competition around 
uh, vivacity point accumulation uh, within the user base uh, so that we can like uh, having this like healthy competition each other and uh, having um, very supportive uh, early adapter of vivacity uh, uh, which will be expanded further with uh, lots of different features. So uh, the next uh, upgrade will be vivacity point system. We are still researching uh, point system designs. Uh, so we want to have the best design uh, for not only for users, but also for ecosystem as a whole, uh, so that we can uh, benefit both. Uh, so especially like rewards uh, is necessary for early participations and supports for vivacity. Uh, so these are really well concerned from our team and uh, it, it is likely that like about like next month, we are going to have very concrete design point system design so that we can share in detail uh, with documentation. So uh, that's we are preparing right now. And I want to emphasize that this FIBA city token uh, is a point uh, system so that we can measure the uh, activity of uh, FIBA city users. Uh, and ultimately it, uh, it connects to the vivacity token rewards. Uh, so we believe that there will be a strong connection between vivacity points and vivacity token distribution. Uh, so uh, that's uh, how we design this point system. And next thing, it will be like version 2.0, uh, which will be DeFi collateralized lending. Uh, so, um, in Canto right now, like we have like Canto Dex uh, or C Cadence, uh, which where you can invest your asset for farming. Uh, and um, uh, as a lending protocol, uh, Viva City will provide one click leverage farming for these kind of things. Uh, so uh, in the future, obviously, I think there'll be more uh, variety of uh, opportunity for Kento ecosystem uh, participants to provide liquidity to different kinds of like uh, applications. Uh, and these kind of applications and liquidity providing activity will be connected to Vivacity uh, so that uh, it, it can become a one-stop uh, lending protocol where you can do a lot of different farming with leverage uh, uh, in our very simple and convenient UX. So uh, next to, uh, topic will be Vivacity token launch. Uh, so uh, we are preparing uh, this token launch uh, after major upgrades I uh, shared so far. Uh, so that will take maybe like several months. Uh, and then uh, after having this like concrete list of uh, features, uh, we are going to uh, prepare the token launch. Uh, so the the reasoning and also uh, necessity of this uh, token launch is coming from a uh, decentralized ecosystem for Vivacity. So uh, currently Vivacity is provided as a contract, uh, but it, its governance is not uh, distributed yet. Uh, but with uh, Vivacity tokens, uh, we can um, ultimately decentralize the decision-making and governance uh, for Vivacity protocol. Uh, so uh, only users uh, and airdrop and uh, the, the token holders will participate in the governance so that we can have this uh, uh, governance system uh, working. And also uh, we want to grow the community by uh, utilizing this uh, token. Uh, so also accelerating the builders so that we can also expand our Vivacity team inside Beharvest so that we can have more people uh, participating in the building, but also uh, having an ecosystem so that we can uh, grant others uh, who are willing to contribute different kinds of like features and functionality for Vivacity. So this is kind of like how, how we accelerate the building process for Vivacity. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the 
um, after token launch, we are going to have uh, like very clear uh, direction uh, we want to have for Kanto ecosystem, which will be your smart uh, Kanto wallet. So uh, let me explain a little bit about this concept. So uh, uh, wallet uh, such as like MetaMask is uh, basically a physical wallet who, which can provide you opportunity, uh, a utility to uh, sign your transactions. Uh, that's really simple uh, functionality started from. But now, like if you go to like MetaMask, then you can even like swap tokens. So it's kind of like becoming a little bit more and more smart. Uh, so vivacity is going further. So uh, it's not going to be a, a wallet for signing your transaction. But like if you have different kinds of like investment and management uh, on your uh, funds in Canto, uh, then everything can be uh, controlled and managed uh, from Vivacity so that you, you don't need to like look around different kinds of website, but you can just like uh, manage your asset in one stop. Uh, so that's kind of our uh, vision for Vivacity. Uh, becoming a uh, center of a uh, Canto DeFi ecosystem where you can like um, borrow or lend or leverage your position or like watching your farming, uh, manage your farming uh, and um, um, automated your uh, asset management. Uh, all these kind of things like connected and integrated experience of uh, Canto uh, DeFi ecosystem will be possible on Viva City. Uh, so there's like very less uh, protocol out there in different ecosystem providing this kind of really integrated uh, service for the users. Uh, I think that this is one of the uh, strengths of Canto, which is really uh, integrated each other uh, and providing the uh, financial service as an infrastructure and Vivacity's approach is like very aligned with this. Uh, so uh, on Canto and on Vivacity, you can do many things uh, within Canto, like all the major applications can be reached out from our UX uh, and can be like integrated and connected to our lending uh, functionality uh, in Vivacity. Uh, so like, um, for example, there'll be like lots of different uh, farming options like you you don't want to like touch a lot then it will be like passive or if you control uh in a very detailed way then it will be more active uh approach uh we are going to provide both options and also if you want to take more risk or less risk it, it can be also controlled uh so it's more like a automated asset management functionality on on canto uh, but not only for Vivacity feature, but uh, for like all this like major application on Canto. So our like ambition is to become uh, the center of Canto DeFi ecosystem so that we can provide all these like necessary features uh, without hassle uh, and all connected and integrated uh, so that we can, uh, uh, Canto uh, ecosystem can possess the uh, advantages, uh, uh, features and UX for the integrated experience. Yep, uh, this is it uh, from my pitch uh, about the future of Vivacity Finance. Um, I believe that we have a couple of questions in the chat, some joking about uh, airdrops and debating whether or not the, they like the point system, but we've got a couple of questions on RWAs. Um, so if you could see here, you've got Nesta's first one. Um, Nesta asks, about RWAs, um, <clears throat> how do you ensure that those assets, uh, the collateral, are protected and or not frozen, uh, which could block the liquidity of the protocol? Yeah, so we are really uh, careful about uh, choosing the right partners. So there are lots of like uh, RWA issuers in the marketplace uh, with uh, different kinds of asset they're providing, but also the different kinds of like 
uh, backers for them. So we are like uh, analyzing um, different issuers and its par partners. So we are introducing like high yield, uh, and we are talking with at least like five different partnerships so far, uh, and they are uh, mostly having really uh, trustful um, uh, issuers with uh, backers. So we are analyzing this so that uh, they can have this kind of like uh, trust uh, for the users so that we can assure that uh, these assets are protected. So, uh, but the RWA assets are quite different from uh, Web3 assets. So this is because they uh, store this, all of these like RWA trad, TradFi assets within a bank. Uh, and, and this bank is uh, working as a custody uh, op, uh, organization. And this bank is really big one, like uh, New York Mellon uh, Bank or something like that. And uh, they are uh, providing this service, custody service with the trust uh, from the uh, people. Uh, and this bank is really having a strong trust uh, among them. So uh, the control of these assets are really controlled uh, by this custody bank. And that's why it is really transparent and it is really uh, secured uh, compared to other. Uh... So if you imagine like Tether, uh, then they are storing assets in different kinds of banks and stuff, but you don't know where it is and uh, you cannot trust uh, this custody bank uh, who are really small or like even not known. So I think like this trust level is much better in Alderwe because all these assets are already like predefined and only in this form, these assets can be stored in the bank and the bank uh, send us the uh, receipt of uh, what kind of assets and how many how many assets are, are stored in their uh, account uh, for this RWA issuance. So uh, it's really much better transparent way of uh, storing assets uh, compared to other stable assets like Soko or Tether. So I believe that this solution is uh, much more secure than uh, uh, existing stable coin in the world. Cool, awesome. <laughs> um, and then I guess we have the second one from Anastasios. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'll let you read it. <laughs> I will read, read out and I will answer. Thank you for the question. Um, yeah, uh, liquidation is uh, case by case for the uh, different kinds of like RWA. So for like T-bill or like very liquid asset, the, the liquidation can be happen in the same day uh, or even like in, in several hours. But like for more illiquid assets, like private credit that can happen in like uh, maybe like several days or even like several weeks, depend on uh, whether there's like a buyer in the traditional market uh, for this asset uh, to be liquidated. Uh, so uh, there's like uh, pros and cons of different assets. Like some assets are more illiquid and then it provides better rewards, but still uh, it also have like a higher risk of liquidity. Uh, we, we can assure that uh, it will be sold and liquidated uh, uh, at the right, um, uh, some time, but it can be delayed uh, for several days or even weeks uh, per each uh, product. So I think this kind of like uh, characteristic for each RWA should, should be carefully um, 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 uh, concerned uh, so that the investors can choose uh, which one is the right uh, investment for you guys. So um, that's kind of like case by case is the uh, the characteristic. Mm. So we have different kinds of uh, liquidators in the ecosystem, actually including the issuers. So issuers uh, are also participating as a liquidator, but not only them, but also uh, Beehivest, but there'll be like more uh, third party liquidators to come uh, to participate in the liquidation part. 
uh, also every like uh, alternative investors can also become a uh, liquidator too. Uh, so that's uh, more like a decentralized way to have a uh, uh, proper uh, liquidation price uh, between these uh, liquidators. So uh, this is um, the mechanism how we uh, liquidate uh, in a decentralized way. Uh, let me read the second question from uh, Anastasios. Yeah, uh, so these issuers we are partnering with, uh, they are expanding their uh, business to other blockchains as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, I agree that this is uh, like competition between like among uh, a lot of different blockchain ecosystems and Kanto is one of them. Uh, so I think like uh, in the far going, I think the risk management and the features uh, and the connected functionality to other uh, DeFi ecosystem in the ecosystem will matter uh, of this, like um, how it will be um, use, useful for the ecosystem and community members. Uh, so we are very capable of uh, analyzing this risk and managing the risk uh, in, in the protocol, but also in a financial way uh, because of our background in our team uh, with uh, a lot of like, uh, experts in financial fields. Uh, so we analyze all these like product and risk return profile so that we can have the proper uh, product ready, but also like risk management policy ready. Uh, especially like in this uh, Web3, a lot of like Web3 builders does not have enough like uh, experience in uh, controlling the TradFi assets and their risk. Uh, so it is really uh, sometimes very risky to trust them. Uh, because they don't have enough like experience, but in our team we have all this like experience from like fund manager, uh, like uh, quant analyst and um, brokers. Uh, so uh, uh, our team has uh, like capability to uh, control this in a very organized way. Uh, so that's uh, one of our strengths compared to other protocol. Uh, so um, I am definitely sure that. We are going to build uh, one of the uh, most useful uh, RWA protocol in the world. And um, uh, as I shared before, uh, we are going to like expand this feature to other um, lending features, also like leveraging farming, and also like connected to uh, other Canto applications. And this kind of like integrated uh, experience will be the edge of Viva City too. Cool, awesome. Thank you so much for asking and um, answering all of those questions. Um, do you guys have any more questions in the audience? Please uh, put them on. Oh yeah, <laughs> Anastasia says thanks, amazing. Um, yeah, brilliant. Well, Hyung, thank you so much for coming and speaking and answering all of these questions. Um, if anyone has any more questions, um, would they be able to contact you in any way? Yeah, yeah, so well, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I want to add a little bit of thing. I think like we were quite quiet about the community and communication. Uh, we are preparing like uh, a little bit of like more communication uh, with the community because we are pro uh, uh, currently like introducing the point system. Uh, and I think like uh, there's no much like information about that but also like uh, a lot of people are curious about the future of uh, Viva City. That's why I, I am doing this uh, uh, explanation to all of you guys. Uh, but we are going to have like uh, different methods to share these uh, uh, items and information and also want to hear about your thoughts uh, so that we can improve further. So we are going to have different kinds of like communication channel uh, very soon. So. Uh, uh, we are going to announce that when we are ready. So please uh, feel free to uh, connect to us and communicate with us. Uh, and we are going to share more information for you guys. Awesome. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you have the Vivacity Twitter or perhaps your own Twitter or um, any other kind of social media groups that everyone can follow? Yeah, we have a Vivacity Twitter account. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, which will be shared in in Discord. Yeah, I think like uh, people will 
uh, already know uh, the Twitter mm -hmm. account. Uh, but yeah, we are going to share more China. channels. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I believe it's a Vasti Finance. This one in the chat here. Yep, that's correct. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so anyone uh, go and give that a quick follow or like um, to keep up to date with with whatever the Vivasti is doing next. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's that's pretty much everything for today's workshop. Um, mm -hmm. So I will wrap it up there. Young, thank you so much again for coming along um, and speaking yep. and um, yeah once again everyone uh please follow along on twitter interact uh, and just stay up to date because it sounds like you guys are doing some really awesome stuff um cool otherwise um just a, a few words from from me from the hackathon side of things um <laughs> uh, some lovely comments in the chat um we do have a workshop starting so another one starting in one hour's time. So if you guys are free and available, please come and join us for that as well. Um, it'd be lovely to see you there. Um, otherwise, everyone have a wonderful rest of your day, Hyung. I hope you uh, can get some rest now. I know it's past midnight. Um, yeah. And yeah, if so- If you feel inviting, yep. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. All right, yeah. everyone. Well, have a wonderful rest of your day if I don't see you later and hopefully, people in the audience, I will <laughs> in an hour's time. Bye everyone.